from getting my camera out, but every time I think about, oh, I'll get the camera out, we get trees, but actually it looks like we're not going to get trees for a bit, which will be nice. We have just come away from McBride where we went to a Chinese restaurant and had um, way too much food, probably full of MSG, so we're going to know about that later. Um, <clears throat> And we were there from about four o'clock and just as we were leaving, we were the only ones there and then just as we were leaving, it started to fill up with old people. And I was reading up on the wall, there's a smorgasbord, eat as much as you want, all you can eat. And it was a set price, it starts at five o'clock, so we missed it by an hour. Um, but that's okay, because we couldn't have eaten. But Mark as it is, he's come away with, um, sweet and sour chicken balls and we had some hot ginger beef which really caught me in the back of the throat and a small bit of special fried rice it was massive you know like these were three plates that we shared between us because when she put it on the table I went was that for four mm -hmm. massive so that's us fed and by the time we get to Jasper which is about two hours on Alberta time, no hold on, on British Columbia time, but we're going to go through a bloody time zone again going back the other way. So it's three hours if you include the time zone, time change. So anyway, it's going to be about a couple of hours to Jasper, so we're going to go straight to the hotel and collapse I think. Oh, you're up to trees now. Going to collapse and um, chill look at the view there's a patio I think with the room that I booked not a cheap room so hopefully we'll have a nice view it's 20 is it 27 centigrade out here unbelievable <laughs> I don't know but the, the problem is if I'd said to somebody we're coming in May what clothes do we need they wouldn't have known that this was going to be the weather, you know. So, anyway, I've got a sleeveless top on, Mark's got a short sleeve shirt on, and we've got the aircon on. Not what we expected at all. Oh, we haven't seen Mount Robson. I got a message from Gary and I said, you know, told him what was going on and said, you know, not sure if we, you went, you're nowhere near Mount Robson. And it will be well signposted because it is a massive landmark, so we won't miss it. And looking at the peaks that we're coming past now, I can see that they've got more snow on them, so hopefully Mount Robson will have snow on it. we just come past a whole load of fire damaged um, mountain quite a big damage, a lot of damage. Just gone over the Fraser River again, we keep going over the Fraser River, I was too quick to show you, or oh, it was too quick to show you. Still no wildlife, but that's okay. going to give in and close my eyes. got serious FOMO but I need to close my eyes. Hopefully Mark will poke me if I need to open my eyes.